Hey everyone, uh, this is part two of the Halloween holiday one-off thingy I did with Puffin and Z. So if you haven't checked out part one already, I have links in description, I have it in the pinned comment, it's gonna be everywhere, you'll be able to find it. So uh, check that out first and then come back here for part two of this fun little one-off that Felix wrote and hope you enjoy it. He also made a module for this so you guys can run it yourself, which is of course the link in the description and I'll probably shove it in the pinned comment. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and off we go. Okay, Lord Dreadwind leads you through these hallways and at the end of the hallway, um, you arrive at like a double door. He says, all right, we have to be careful here that we don't go crazy. This is the most cunning, evil, deceitful trap. Please step inside. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> he opens the door. What What does it look like inside? It looks like an elevator. Okay, uh, I'll send, uh, I'll send Yon through first. And I will use, use him to be <laughs> my eyes. Okay. I mean, it's an elevator. Do we know what that, I mean, I'm assuming we know what that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've uh, encountered some elevators before. Like, you know, uh, fantasy versions of them. They're not fully electric or anything. Like the old ones? Like the old ones, counterweight and whatnot, so, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's just, let's go in. Also, Zebo? Mm-hmm. Uh, how you looking? Uh, I'm fine, two hit points. Yeah, I'm gonna heal you. <laughs> he looks awful. No, I'm fine. <laughs> That's no way to represent your lord and master. Get cleaned up. All right. Oh, okay. So you get back eight points. Oh, nice. All right. I'm at 10 hit points now. Nice. All right. You all step into the elevator and the doors close. Welcome to my one of my most cunning traps in the lair, the elevator of dying of boredom. Ha. <laughs> yeah, and this elevator moves dreadfully slow and has awful music. He says the joke and then there's awkward silence and he's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, like he does the joke, there's awkward silence and now this thing is just like creeping slowly down with the lamest elevator music. Are we talking short rest slow? <laughs> How long is a short rest again? Remind me. Oh, it's like an hour. Yes, it's a short rest. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let the awkward silence crush your spirits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so yeah. Gilboss just like sits down and starts eating some dried mushroom strips. God, I want to kill myself. <laughs> the trap is taking effect, but Minion, I need to ask you to hold off. Mm. You may kill yourself on the way up. <laughs> oh god, we gotta go up after. Yeah! Okay, uh, an hour passes, <laughs> short rest passes, uh... and uh, you all feel uh, well rested physically and drained mentally as you arrive at the bottom. I just like collapse as the doors open and just like <laughs> slam forward, <laughs> just like bam, <laughs> just like ah. Uh... I crawl out as well. <laughs> It's inhuman. Right? I appreciate your compliments. None ever make it past the elevator alive. Oh, God. I, like, crawl my way up. <laughs> <laughs> Hoist myself back up and go, all right. Please tell me there's no more of that. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I don't like your tone, Lich. <laughs> don't worry about it. Lord Redbone has it covered, but let's move forward. We have, uh, we have a staff to get. Uh, would the children have stayed monsters if, if they left? Ah, oh, God, no. No, they were just supposed to, you know, walk inside to the entrance area, be all like, oh, no, I'm a monster, and then leave. But instead, they kind of charged down the stairs and entered the lair. So, um, that backfired. So, wait, are you, are you saying that if they left, they would stay monsters, or they would... They, they were turned back to whatever gross children they were. So this is a problem that will kind of solve itself. Oh, I can't believe we took a one hour elevator ride. And I'm starting to like you. Thanks. <laughs> I think it's more the idea that these children are also, like, finding their way deep into your lair and you can't really get them out. Kind of like, uh, like rats or spiders. You just kind of, like, go into the corner and then they just... 
hide away and you can't really get them. Like they're, they're under the carpets, but you can't get the spider even though you got a vacuum cleaner and you're sucking up, but you can't seem to get it. It's all fun and games till the toddler turns into a troll. Uh, yeah. So let's try to reverse this, shall we? Please. <laughs> and he takes a step forward and yelps and gets tangled up in something. And you see that Lord Dreadbone just got himself entangled in a giant spider web. Uh... <laughs> ah, what is this? I did not place this here! Oh, it's the wolf, guys. Oh, God. Oh, these guys. Uh, get ready. Get ready for a drider. I basically, I prepare, um, prepare Shillelagh, and if anything skitters out of the darkness at us, I, I'm just gonna, like, have a prepared, prepared action to just skull it. <laughs> You see, um, from the darkness of the ceiling, a giant spider crawls towards uh, Lord Dreadbone. Uh, I'm assuming this is one of them children and not a pet spider you have? No, I hate spiders. Why would I ever put them in my lair? They're disgusting. Is, is it? It's a giant spider, right? It's a giant spider. Okay, I'm going to try and grapple it. Okay, go ahead. All right, that is going to be, uh, all right. It's map time with Ben. What's a two plus one? Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am in the web now. Minion, I appreciate your noble intentions to die with your master, but this is not ideal. You already died once. I don't want to hear that from you. Haha, <laughs> very true. Also, I'm technically immortal, so this is really a you problem. I mean, technically I could light it on fire, but... Zemo, how do you feel about fire? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, Kali, I mean, I'll use the previous initiative. So, Kali, what do you do? Hmm. I, I want to take out the candy that I have. Okay. I'm going to take out like a handful, just one handful, mm -hmm. and kind of like shake it a bit, mm -hmm. try to get the attention of the spider. Uh, hey. Oh, yep. Yeah. You get its attention. It looks at you. Yeah. You want this? Want some? Want some? Uh, what do, I, what do I got? I got a little Butterfingers, or Hobgoblin, uh, uh, Nuggies, <laughs> when you, Chocolate Nuggies. When you say, uh, Hobgoblin Nuggies, uh, this thing just jumps off its web towards you. Oh, ah, alright, alright, and I'm gonna toss it in the corner, like, as far away from me as possible. Alright, give me a... Dexterity saving throw as this thing basically overruns you. Uh, I got a 15. Okay. You manage to step out of the way and don't get knocked over as the spider charges past you and just dives into the candy. <sighs> yeah. All and right. now it's just chomping down. Okay, that was saw my life flash before my eyes for a moment, but uh, <laughs> yeah, thank God for um, cheap, cheap sugar. All right, I'm going to cut you guys down, and I'm going to try to use my hand axe okay, cool. to cut them out of the web. Sure. The web is sturdy, but you are able to take your time, and you manage to cut everybody out of the web. Thanks, there Kali. You go. Oh, uh, God, it's sticky. And I, I, like, I start picking it out of my hair, and I'm like, huh, huh. Uh, you guys move on deeper into the dungeon or lair uh, with Dreadbone, and um, all of you give me a dexterity saving throw. 10. 13. It's math time with Ben. What's 4 plus 1? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, dude. Zebo's just our hype man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Zebo, I'm also going to need a constitution saving throw from you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, math time with Ben. What's 3 plus 0? That's a 3. <laughs> wow. Okay, Zebo, you get paralyzed as a bunch of multicolored rays of light shot through this hallway, and one struck you, paralyzing you for one minute. Okay, all right, that's fine. And um, down from down the hall, you hear almost like a child giggling, like hee 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 hee. I know bit... horror films, and this is a bad bad time. That is mad <laughs> creepy. <laughs> all right, uh. I kind of like turn to the lich and go like, you wouldn't happen to know what that would have been, would you? I've been stuck up there. How would I know? Use your brain, minion. This is your 
freaking lair! I don't have monsters in my lair. How did they get down here? Wait, wait. Is there another way down other than that elevator? Why, yes, there's a staircase. Damn it! Oh, does it take an hour? They must have found a secret path. Did you just put us in the elevator because you wanted to see us suffer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw right through my deception. Ugh. I'm going to punch you in the face after this. You may not. <laughs> okay, let's get... I'm going to light a torch. Sure, you light a torch. Um, there are some torches down here, so there's some light, but with your torch, it's much easier to see everything. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the minute passes, and Zebo, you feel your muscles stop stiffening and uh, you loosen up. You're able to walk around again. Oh, cool. And you still hear a bit of, like, giggling. Hello? Hello? Anybody want some candy? Maybe some, um... Oh, God. Give me some good D&D monster candy names. Uh, Beholder Bites. (gasps) Beholder Bites! Does anybody want some Beholder Bites? (laughs) Or, Or maybe some... Dragon licorice or some necro nuggies. Necro nuggies. Yeah, yeah, lich licorice. Oh, I love that stuff. Can't have it right now. I need it to lure kids. Wait, uh, how how much candy do we have left? I mean, I took all the candy that was on the ground. You have like a handful, so. I mean, I threw one handful into the corner. I gave two, three pieces to those kids. So you might have like one portion left. Okay. I mean, we keep approaching, I think. Sure. You approach, and you turn the corner, and you are in a kind of library room. And there's, like, some potion set up. This looks like a, you know, a study. And floating around this room, you see a beholder. I'm assuming you want the beholder bites. The irony. He hates beholder bites. He wants the dragon licorice. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And it's just kind of giggling to itself as it's, like, messing with potions or, like, throwing books around. And you notice that every once in a while, one of its many eyes just shoots out a beam. Whoop. Randomly. Oh, this is so bad. I want to take the bag of candy and, like, shake it. With the beholder bites, like, shik, shik, you know, like a cat mm-hmm. with the cat treats. <laughs> yeah. Shik, shik, shik. Uh, you shake it and uh, many eyes look at you. Hel- hel- hello. Uh, uh, guys, I'm, I'm freezing up a bit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, hey, we got some candy. You want some candy? You want some? We got candy. <laughs> uh, it floats towards you, but then you notice it stops and kind of distorts its face, and it looks like it's about to sneeze. Uh, I want a duck. <laughs> I just shove Lord Bones whatever in front of me. Hey, there's not a lot of meat on these bones if you're thinking of using me as a meat shield. <laughs> you're immortal. It'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> and many beams are shot your way. Uh, give me dex saving throw. Okay. And, um, Moss, you're fine, but Zebo, give me a saving throw. <laughs> and I'll need a saving throw for Bagel. No! Okay, um... Uh, you know, one of these days I'm gonna roll above a ten. But not today. <laughs> That's a five. Okay. <laughs> seventeen, seventeen. I got a nineteen. Okay. So, <laughs> again, only Zebo gets hit by this. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Zebo, you get hit by a ray of fear. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait, wait, I think if it's magic, I think I have advantage on that because I'm a gnome. Okay, that is a 14. You are frightened for one minute. Cool. You're damn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's the comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like what happens is I get hit with this ray and I'm like, huh, that did nothing. And then I turn and go, Ugh, and run out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. These big city clerics. So uh, this thing giggles after it sneezes and then keeps coming towards you, Kali. <laughs> uh, I like stand back up from after crouching from dodging the freaking beams. Yeah. And I'm like, did you want, did you want the, the beholder bots? Uh, you don't really have hands. So you don't want me to just like put them in your mouth, your ginormous, horrifying mouth. Oh God, okay, all right. I rip off the top and I start to like very carefully move my arm these, towards it. With these very sharp teeth. Mm-hmm. And I kind of like loosely uh, shake the bag and let the bits go into its mouth. Mm-hmm. You pour some candy into its mouth, which is pretty much all you have left now. 
Well, no, I also have the dragon oh, that's licorice right. and, that's the, right. and the lich licorice. That's right. Um, so, yeah, it's chomping down happily. Okay. It's just smiling. It's like, nom, 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 nom. As it's chomping down happily and smiling, I just sort of sideways whisper to it as we're passing it, whatever you do, don't sleep. And keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's not ominous That's at all. That's not ominous. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, this thing is busy with candy now. Uh, what do you guys do about Zebo, who is at the other side of the room? <laughs> I mean... Can- yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just give me a second. Can um- I slap him out of it? <laughs> sure, you can slap it. I'm like, Zebo, Zebo, I'm going to do something that'll snap you right out of it. Don't even worry about it. And I smack him across the face with my hand. Now my face is hurting and I'm frightened. (laughs) Wisdom saving throw. Me? Okay. That's a 16. Yeah, you save. You snap out of it with Kali's um, convincing. We're all gonna die. (laughs) I mean, we may almost die, but (laughs) you don't need to scream about it. Yes, because then we will go into Paylor's loving embrace. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's no, fine. No, it's true. It's just, okay. you know, I'm still very young. I'm still only like 200 years old. Why don't we make our way through? Great idea, Minion. Onwards. Once again, not your Minion. We are nearly at the lair now. Just one hallway to pass by. You, he further leads you down a few hallways, and you see just how big of a lair this guy really has under this whole city, basically. <laughs> and you hear many demonic screechings and growls ahead of you and you can see that there is a room to your right where um it looks like there's a fire uh, flickering from inside and ahead of you a door that reads lord dreadbone's lair so you had like a kind of like a t (laughs) intersect is there is there a door labeled lord dreadbone's phylactery room (laughs) (laughs) um you know what Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> oh my god, really? And that's the room where you hear all the dem- demonic screeching coming from. I'm assuming you take a peek at that room. And, I mean, um, for sure, yeah. Yeah. And you see that in this room are about a dozen pit fiends. Uh. And they're just kind of dancing around and like beating up each other and wrecking the place. <laughs> Man, somebody really went for a group costume, huh? I remember those. They were really mean. Oh, they're not your minions? No, God, no. Pit fiends, really? That's so 80s. Is there a phylactery in there? Um, I mean, you can't really see anything. Is this really your phylactery room? Huh? Oh, um, no. I feel like he's lying. (laughs) No. Because if it were, and I were you, I would be very nervous about those pit fiends in there. I might be. I can't sweat, so get off my back. You can't see if I'm nervous. We need to go into the... um, Insight. The final room now. Insight if I can. (laughs) Absolutely you can. Oh, it's not that good. Uh, 15. He's full of shit. (laughs) He's very nervous because his phylactery's in there. Right, so your staff's not in there. No, it's in the inner sanctum right there. All right. So we just got to sneak by here. Okay. I don't want to deal with these guys. Blessings of the trickster would be upon Z. Um, when you go to do it, I, I think you've done it enough times that there's a good chance I know what it looks like. Is, is that fair to say, Felix? Yeah. I like open up my pocket and my rat points at itself. Okay, got it. I'll cast on the rat. And I am going to just slightly open, oh, like, like just as I'm ab- about to close the phylactery room door, um, my rat's going to hop in there. Um, and I'm basically giving it instructions to, like, go in there and hide somewhere um, and, and essentially just, like, survey the room and see whether or not there's a phylactery in there. Give me a stealth roll for that rat. Okay, first, oh, natural 20. Holy crap. Okay, so somehow... This rat is not noticed by this dozens, or this one dozen pit fiends, and uh, scurries around the room investigating. And it would find what you could assume to be a phylactery on the floor. Okay. It may have been in a display case that now lies shattered. Okay. What? Is it something a rat could carry? (laughs) Yes. A rat could carry it. Because it is a single silver coin. Ah. 
All right. Um, and okay, so Helmos is actually just gonna say like, I just, I just need a second here for a moment. Uh, sure. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, uh, just uh, go. this is embarrassing, but yeah, you catch your breath. You, you catch your breath. And I'm just gonna get the rat to try and like, basically drag it back towards us. Sure. Um, Lord Dreadbone comments on your uh, exhaustion saying, Jeez, I'm like a thousand years older than you. How are you out of breath? Um, you're, you're 1,300 years old. I might be. It's probably not. Uh, it's kind of rude to ask somebody about their age, Moss. Even I know that. Exactly. Jeez. Um, but as, you're, as Lord Dreadbone is kind of talking to you, the rat sneaks back into your pocket, coin in mouth. Yes! Okay, let us move on! <laughs> oh, well, no, that's you. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna need stealth checks all around to sneak past this room. Oh, great, I have disadvantage on that. <laughs> that's a 17 for Zebo. Um, uh, I think I am probably going to fail almost no matter what. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that was bad. That's super bad. Now it's, time, now it's time for math with Z. What's two minus one? Oh, what is Zebo coming out <laughs> on top with this okay. one? Okay. I actually, I actually got, I rolled a disadvantage. One of them was a natural 20 and the other one was 16. So I still wow. get a 16 on my stealth, even though I have disadvantage. Nice. That's beautiful. And I also, of course, need a stealth check for Bagel. Um, okay. Bagel's just probably normal. Uh, yep. Oof. Bagel's bagel is barking. <laughs> like I I fall over, and it sounds it sounds like a fucking like a drum set falling down the steps, and Bagel starts barking at Here's me. Here's what happens: you most of you sneak by the door just fine. Even Dreadbone, he got a 19 actually. Um, but then Moss. You start sneaking, and you're so focused on trying to do this right that you step on Bagel's paw and then trip over Bagel and fall flat. And Bagel now barks at you because you stepped on his paw. <laughs> you're making a huge ruckus, and all the pit fiends notice you. I kind of like turn, I like turn to the lich and go like, "Yeah, stealth is not our strong suit." <sighs> Apparently, bless. And then after after they all notice, I'm like, I probably should cast pass without a trace. That would have been a good spell to use, wouldn't it? Anyway. <laughs> Oops. You hear shuffling inside, some screeching, and they're coming towards the door. I, I, I like, from the ground at my basset hound, and I say, sit pretty! As they're coming through the door, he's just going to yell, like, isn't it a okay. cute puppy? Or actually, I have another, okay, I have another plan, which is I'm going to, we all pull up against into one square, and then I cast Minor Illusion to make it look like a fake statue, like a stone statue or something. <laughs> no, I love the I love the puppy idea. Okay, do you let Bagel sit outside of the illusion, or do you make everybody invisible? Well, turn to a statue, or turn to a statue. I would like to pull every single person into the the group into this one little bubble, and then cast. Uh, minor illusion around <laughs> all of us. I love these two in concordance, so they just hear, doesn't it look like a cute puppy? And then there's just nothing there. All right. Um, so everybody's invisible. Oh, sorry, it's a statue. Well, I keep saying invisible. And is it, a, is it a statue of a puppy? I mean... I'm, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So all these pit fiends come out of the room and see this statue, which wasn't there before. They look at it curiously, and they probably go to pet it uh -uh. excitedly. I, I lift up my head in order to feign the illusion like there's something there. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, you have a dozen pit fiends petting you. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Man? And it's also, this is like the, the statue is so cramped. We're all like next to each other because this is one yeah, square. Yeah, we're like Tetris in here. Yeah, the pit fiends are petting you. It's not exactly comfortable because there's a lot of claw mixed in there. And uh, anyways, they're all excitedly, like, checking out the statue, like, giving it some pets, almost laughing about it, but it sounds quite demonic. I'm going to use my invoke duplicity in order to make a fake image of myself in order to, like, distract them. 
Be like, hey, here's Zebo. I'm over <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. Uh, they look at you and then they um, uh, charge at you. Okay. At your, you know, at your illusion. And when they make impact, you can hear like, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and they just start chasing each other. Oh, God. I'm, I'm actually going to try and run away to try and uh, bait them away from us. Absolutely. So you bait them away and you guys are left to your own devices. And Lord Dreadbone kind of emerges from this pile of people. So what happens is the minor illusion dispels is like <laughs> everyone falls out of the minor illusion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that was real up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Me neither. Uh, and he opens the door to his inner sanctum and says, Finally, we're here. Now, don't touch anything. There's pretty fragile stuff in here, all right? Okay, so what does your staff look like? Oh, can't miss it. It's big and epic looking. Um, and he opens the door, and uh, inside is his inner sanctum. And um, it's, once again, like a laboratory. You also see, like, a pile of, like, loot, like, gold and artifacts you see a pile of candy um you also see on the pile of candy a bay here <laughs> that's just kind of playing around with the candy and whatnot and um in its mouth is the staff Aha. <laughs> and uh the bay here notices you and um comes running towards you excitedly ah. oh don't you want to play fetch with the pretty puppy? I'm gonna start just petting Bagel's sides, like getting him all psyched up, you know? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who wants to play fetch? Who wants to go on a walk? Bagel does. <laughs> bagel does. Who's a pretty bagel? <laughs> Bagel's really hyped up now. Tail is wagging, just wiggling, it's ready to go. Uh... Uh, and then what do you do? Well, I mean, um, I should describe this thing is charging towards you and yeah. will make impact because you can see that this thing is not coordinated with all its legs at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think like at least I should move to the side. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> this one's all you, Moss, and I like <laughs> like beeline it to the side. All right, you you move to the side, and um, Lord Dreadbone also dashes away. And uh, Zebo, what do you do? I will dash away as well. Okay. And uh, we're rooting for you, Moss. <laughs> and uh, Moss, the bee here comes towards you. What do you do? Well, we just came through a door, right? Yeah. Yep. I just step back through that door with Bagel and close it. Okay. You do that. You will leave the room and close the door behind you and just feel an impact as this thing slams into the wall where you were just standing. Whoop. And the rest of you can see it is kind of dazed and it is almost babbling like a baby. Oh okay. no. And just kind of like sits and is like shaking itself. Uh. And it starts crying. Aww. Okay. I, I come up to it slowly, slowly I'm like, hey there. Hey there, little guy. How's it going? You okay? I know this is a little bit confusing, but we're here to help. We're here to to make sure everything's fine. We got some candy for you. I go in my pocket. I'm out of candy. Do you have candy? <laughs> you have candy? <laughs> I, I toss you one of the licorices. Wait. Okay. Do, does it open its mouth to cry? Uh, Yes, it does. And let me just roll, see if it's, what happens with the staff. It grabs the staff and like whirls it around like a rattle, because there's some skulls attached to that staff, and it's just like it's rattling it. Oh, that's so it's like a baby that's rattle. That's so clever. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out if I could see something to replace it. Like, oh, I'm gonna give him another toy. Is there anything toy like in this room? Let me think. Uh, lots of magical artifacts that you have no idea what they do. I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take some like. Ooh, there's a pot, and then I put some like stones in it, like, whoa, it's a rattle too. And it's like there's sparks coming out of it. I'm like, whoa, I put the lid on it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, hey, this is rattle. It's ting, 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 ting. <laughs> it stops crying and starts clapping. And with one of its many, many hands or legs, I guess, it goes to uh, grab that um, rattle that you made. Okay, so I pass it over to him. And then I grab the, try to grab the actual staff. Sure. It didn't let go of the staff because it has so many, um, so many, uh, well, 
I don't know if it's all legs or all arms, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, anyways, when you look at it, you're like, "What are you?" It uh, grabs the thing you made, so you can roll. You know, what? roll strength check to see if you can take this thing. Actually, my my thinking is that I'm just gonna be giving him stuff to fill his arms until he has no like. Oh, he has to let something go. Sure, uh, you do that, and um, but it takes you a bit. Oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? Oh, this is cool. This is shiny. This is scary. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing dangerous. Nothing sharp. Everything is dangerous in this room. <laughs> Moss and Kali, what are you guys doing while uh, Zebo's shoving most like random magical and evil artifacts into this baby's hands? Okay. Can I can I open the door? Absolutely. You push some rubble out of the way, um, and it's a bit tough to open, but you manage to get it open. Um, I'm gonna use spiritual weapon. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna create like a big, a big glowing, like what is that called? Pacifier. Pacifier. Oh, okay. Um, and just start dangling it around up above, up above the uh, the bay here. Okay, Kali, what are you doing? I'm. I think I'm gonna get ready. If it drops the staff, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. So the bay here. First of all, starts playing with all the items that you're giving it, which Dreadbone, Lord Dreadbone, is freaking out, saying like, "No, not, not that freak, fragile, no, please." <laughs> I'm gonna actually cast Bane on the here. Okay. Give me a wisdom save. Da, 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 da. It got. He has to beat an eleven. Well, considering it only rolled a six. <laughs> and it's a baby. Okay. Yeah. So it fails. Okay. All right, so it does have that minus D4 if someone wants to make a move on it or something. All right. So first of all, it starts playing with all those items that you're giving it. It, For example, there's a bag you gave it that rattled around, and it turns out if you flip this bag upside down, infinite candy pours out of it. So it's just like spraying candy all over the room. I um, turn to the lich. I'm like, why do you have that? If you don't want kids coming to your door to give away candy, why do you have an infinite bag of candy? It's my candy. It's not for those brats. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love don't that. question my methods, minion. Lord um, Dreadbone is the best. <laughs> 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 um, the bay here also you handed it something uh, that looks like a cape and you notice that it is always fluttering in the wind no matter what even though there is no wind down here a cape of billowing you also give it some like you also give it bagpipes oh no no don't give the baby bagpipes oh god and they're just bagpipes what's the worst that could happen and it finally drops the staff I'm gonna go for to it. embrace the bagpipes and blows into them with its bay here strength which makes a like excru- excruciatingly loud sound and you notice it disappears <gasps> it vanishes but you still hear the bagpipes okay uh, I want to grab the staff can I run and grab it absolutely what you got Oh, okay. I got a natural one. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Okay. You run towards the way the bay here was to grab that staff. I, like, see it falling. And then as you're running, all of a sudden you get crushed by an immense weight and pinned down to the ground. And you can't tell what it is. And all of you see Kali just get smashed into the ground from seemingly nothing. And Kali, you take... 14 points of crushing damage. Hello, floor! Um, Zebo. Uh, I am going to try and pry her out from the, um, from the underside, whatever it is, the crushing weight on her. Actually, I'm gonna, uh, I am going to cast bull strength on her. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and then we can try and get her out. Sure. So, together, you guys try to push or lift whatever is on Kali. Both of you give me strength checks. Yes. And she has advantage. That is going to be an 11. Ooh. Okay, so um, with advantage, I get a 16 for strength. Nice. Despite your buff, it takes you an immense amount of effort. And uh, as you both feel this, you swear you're feeling the Baylor scale, uh, not the Baylor, uh, the Bay here scales as you lift up its one of its legs. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the bagpipe's still going. Oh God, please. 
Um, Moss, your turn. Uh, well, okay. I just am like moving the moving the uh, uh, spiritual weapon around tantalizingly, trying to get this bay here to uh, give up on this horrific bagpipe music. I'm just like holding <laughs> my hands over my ears. And I slowly move the pacifier to like in spirals towards where I think its mouth used to be. The bagpipes stop playing, and as soon as they stop playing, the bay here reappears yeah. and chases after the pacifier. And uh, if you let it, it will catch it. Uh, sure. I'm not sure what happens. Well, yeah, I guess this is a DM rule. Is it solid when? It- it's solid enough to hit people. I guess it's solid enough to be sucked on. <laughs> Jeremy Crawford, we need an answer for this. Yes. So it's, it's sure. I mean, in my books, it should be solid enough. And um, yeah. Okay. And 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 I just and I just say lullaby, lullaby. Uh. Oh you thaumaturgy. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna do a lullaby. The last time I did that, I raised a bunch of undead. Uh, I will actually start doing a song. Uh, yeah, I would like to... rock a baby. <laughs> yeah, just do thermaturgy. Performance! The cradle will rock. <laughs> 17. <laughs> oh, I got higher. I got 19. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah but I use thermaturgy as well okay. with it. And Moss, what did you get? Oh, I uh, I didn't help anybody with a five. <laughs> you all sing this lullaby, and the bay here starts to get sleepy. Yes. Moss, however, you notice that Bagel is looking a bit impatient because you hyped that good boy up, and now he's just kind of expectantly looking at you about what's happening. Are you going to play with him or not? Uh, I mean, if if I have time, I just throw my... Hmm, this is going to be hard because I don't want to make a loud noise. So I grab, oh, I grab a candle from my uh, inventory and I throw it down the hallway um, away from the bay here, like through the door away from the bay here. Okay. Like, and I'm like, go get, get, get it. Bark, bark. And goes in cat to uh, fetch the candle. I'm just going to roll if the bay here woke up. Nope. Nope, it did not. It is fast asleep now. <laughs> Yeah, can I, can I, I'm going to cast silence on, this, like, the center point of the head of this mm. um, bay here. Okay. And so it's a 20-foot radius, uh, center around a point, um, and no sound can be created within or passed through. So it pretty much is just, like, a nice, nice silent space. Well, what were we going to say? Sorry. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm probably in that space now. Well, it's on his head. So if you're near its head, I am, I think. But um, so so yeah, you just see Moss like gesture and his mouth like guppies for a second. <laughs> um, and Lord Dreadbone will walk towards the staff. I mean, I guess since it's muted, really, you don't have to be careful right now. Since this thing is asleep, the encounter is essentially done right now. And uh, Lord Dreadbone goes and retrieves his staff. All right. So this is all you need to reverse it, right? Finally, my staff and I are reunited. Yes. Yes, I can undo the spell now and get these brats out of here. Like, not killing them, right? Just undo the spell and get them out of here. I don't want to clean up that mess. No, I just want them out of here. But in the town, though, right? What do you mean, in the town? Like, you're not going to... Like, you're going to send them back to their homes. Well, they can go wherever they want. I'm just kicking them out. Okay. Uh, And he starts chanting an unholy spell. Yeah, my ears, my paylor yeah. ears. These skulls on the staff start rattling, and even Lord Redbone kind of lights up with a bit of energy. And now you really get a feel for just how powerful this guy actually is. <laughs> you can f- feel it radiating from him. And he slams the staff onto the ground, and like this kind of energy sphere emerges from it. And as it passes over the bay here, it gets returned. Uh, sorry, it gets uh, turned back into a baby wearing a little baby suit Aww. and it's just sleeping that's super cute yeah it's adorable and um presumably now everything has been turned back to normal there that should have done it i'm gonna go and grab the baby Mm-hmm. you pick it up Aww. it's a cute little baby Aww. i will name you edward 
which nobody hears because you're in a zone of silence. Right. Can I dispel that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just dispel it. <laughs> Off it goes. Well, minions, thank you very much for your assistance. You have been most useful in serving your lord and master, Lord Dreadbone. Uh-huh. I will never forget this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But you, mu- you have to uphold your end of the bargain. Dental. I need dental. I need to actually be able to go. <laughs> <laughs> Could you fix his teeth? Yes, of course. Let me just get some ingredients. Oh, God, this place is a mess. And uh, he goes around to um, a table, which has a bunch of different, like, creature parts on it. It's like an alchemist table. Uh, Zebo minion, come over here. Okay, I come over. Look, these jars here all contain different sets of creature teeth. Pick one out. I, I kind of am like, hmm. And I go for, like, if there's there's some which has, like, two fangs or something, I'm like, ooh, that, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> there's everything you like in here. So there's, like, there's complete, like, sharp teeth. There's, like, vampire fang-style teeth, like, or, like, canine, werewolf-like teeth. Don't go for the vampire. You might be craving blood later, and I can't. I can't handle that. You can't tell me what to do. (laughs) (laughs) Zemo! It's inadvisable. (laughs) Um, I probably would. uh, I'd go for something that's kind of like big, you know, and kind of scary, but not like comedically big. But like they like if I open my mouth, you can see two big uh, teeth in there. Um, Would I go for fangs? Like part of me thinks like I might go for fangs, like just two fangs. (laughs) Okay, I think I will try and get two fangs. Um, and they don't they don't actually suck blood. It's just two fangs. Nope, they're just two fangs. So essentially what he does is he um, takes these teeth that you've picked and he casts um, a spell with it, again, through his wand. And the teeth actually kind of like lift out of this jar and kind of start swirling towards your mouth. Uh, in a moment of pain, you feel all your existing teeth leave your mouth. Oh. <laughs> And then are replaced by a set of vampire teeth. Yeah. You now have bright vampire chompers. All right. There you go, minion. Yeah. This is not going to be a problem. (laughs) Yeah, this is going to be... We're going to have to write this up in the report. You do know that, right? (laughs) Uh, No, we don't. (laughs) Now, does anybody else need dental? No, please. No. (laughs) No, I'm good. I'm real good. Don't don't worry about me. You could get shark teeth, and then I like I point, and it's like an entire shark. Like you could have a shark teeth in your mouth. Tempting, but I'm good with my chompers as they are. Okay, so I need you on your way out just to get the children out of here, and um, you know I will never speak of this again. And I'm also gonna put up a taller fence. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Mm, let's start to get these these little kids out. God, they're cute. Right. When they aren't trying to murder us. Well, well, before you leave, you all deserve a reward, don't you think? Something that's not evil. Ah, uh, no promises. But um, if you see see anything in here that you like, uh, why don't you uh, you know have a look and uh, pick something out? Or I can just you know not pay you. I re- <laughs> I I mean, to be honest, Kali is looking directly at that bag of infinite candy. <laughs> You can go for it. <laughs> Can't. I'm. I would. I'd. I'd like the bag of infinite candy, please. You may choose as such. The candy bag is yours. Yes. All right. I. I will take the cloak of billowing. Nice. <laughs> okay. You have the cloak of billowing. Also, a stylish choice. Very much fitting for your uh, person. And so what happens is I go over to like I stand on a table and I like look out in the distance and I have it billow. Yeah, the cloak always perfectly does the heroic billow, no matter which pose you take. Uh, I can see that getting caught in something. Now, Mouse, what can I get for you? I mean, you seem more the um, the conservative type, but, uh, I mean, we have um, the uh, the horrific bagpipe of invisibility, which I really don't mind getting rid of. Um, I also have a couple really unique coins you might be interested in. I guess he, I guess he just would look... look- Look around the room and say, I have everything that I need. Don't I, Bagel? And then he slaps his, his thigh twice and, and, and pets his dog. Aw, Moss, you're being modest. A humble man. Would you like me to give your dog an upgrade? I can make him more powerful. I think Bagel is just fine as he is. Now it has been a pleasure being in your service, but I believe we must leave. All right, no skin off my back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, be on your way, get out of here, and um, I will summon you when we are 
leaving for the next mission. What? What next mission? Uh... Well, you're now my evil minions. We have many things to do and discuss and deeds to accomplish. So, um... First of all, we're under Paylor. Uh, our contract's already signed in that way, so we can't really double contract. I don't think that's how employment works. Ah, oh, we don't need to do a contract. It's just like a side gig, you know? Don't worry, I don't need you much. We're not doing any evil deeds, though. I don't mind eating all the candy, though. You... If that's a task. <laughs> <laughs> what... What precisely is it that makes you evil? Well, I'm an evil mastermind, of course. Look at me. I'm a lich. I'm a necromancer. Look at this evil staff. It's so evil. You've never seen something that's evil, not to mention my conniving elevator trap. I know, but what have you... I am the most evil creature in this town. Are there any histories of you or anything? Histories? What well, histories? Usually uh, someone of your stature would have books or poems or songs written about them. I haven't heard of you. Besides a few local legends. Well... Not many. I did once try to turn this entire town's water supply into liquor, but it just kind of made them worship it as a uh, miracle instead of a curse, so that kind of backfired on me. But, um... There are many evil things I have done you'll have to find out on your own. Hmm... Well... I think we should leave, because... To be honest, I'm getting a little squirrely in here, so... I'm like, we'll be in contact! <laughs> You're like, I'll call you. <laughs> My people will talk to your people. <laughs> no worries. I will send you a telepathic message should I require you, or a zombie, whichever is easier. Let's not do the zombie. Maybe don't kill the zombie next time. Well, it's a zombie. Yeah. It's gonna eat people. Yeah. So don't kill it. But <laughs> that's not how things work. Leave now, minion. You have served me well. <sighs> yes, we we will go now. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, Moss just starts, like, tr making his way around, trying to gather up the kids um, and get yeah. out. Yeah. And uh, on your way out, um, Lord Dreadbone summons a bunch of um, uh, zombies and skeletons, to, like, giving them mops and brooms just to start cleaning everything up that the kids have destroyed. <laughs> and um, you collect all the kids. You collect the Beholder, uh, which was just a cute little girl. You collect the troll, which look, was kind of like a tough-looking kid. He was maybe a bit of a bully. Uh, as well as the minotaur and skeleton, uh, the spider. And now they're all just kind of like, why are we down here? Can we please leave? Why don't you go all have some candy? Yeah. And I give them some candy from the infinite bag. And, you know, trust the lady with candy. <laughs> they mm -hmm. follow you out. Always trust someone with candy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I should talk to your parents about that. <laughs> You're just like blasting rainbows into the ground like the whole way. <laughs> Come with us. And I do like the minor illusion <laughs> sparkle sparkle. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to talk to your kids about stranger danger and that yeah. whole thing. And once you guys and the last children have left the mausoleum, the door on its own slams shut behind you. Mm. Well, that was a thing. It was. Um, the last you hear is just an e like a -ha 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 cackle from deep within. So I I check my pocket. Is You have the phylactery. Oh, okay. What's that? Uh, let's... Uh, Moss? It's nothing... Let's just keep moving for a little bit until we're well out of earshot. <laughs> All right. You leave the graveyard and uh, some parents are staring out the window and you quickly get attention as parents are coming to collect all these children, which, I mean, there was a lot more children than what you fought because this dungeon was, you know, bigger. So uh, hundreds of parents come out and just collect their children and thank you all profusely. And, you know, they're like, oh, thank you. Like, we can't... You, you really saved us, you know, all that stuff. You get a lot of praise. Uh, mm -hmm. I would actually, I'd do a sky right saying, like, the situation's been resolved. Uh, the clerics have solved it. Something like, it's over. We've recovered the kids. Come to such and such location to find them. Yeah. Uh, you do that. And again, lots of parents come. And all of you gain a point of inspiration. Oh, nice. Yay. Yay. Because everybody is thanking you. You're kind of heroes. So you're feeling inspired. And then... Below your sky writing, something appears, and it reads, Courtesy of the Clerics of Loth. Hey! 
Get that shit out of here. Uh, ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I do another sky right over that, which is going to be a line crossed out, and it's like completely different group of people. It's actually the Clarice of <laughs> <laughs> Put a frowny face on it. <laughs> and maybe about, let's say, like 15 minutes later, the clerics of Loth show up to where all these parents are getting their kids and uh, kind of call you out and say, you know, like, I'm like, well, well, look who's taking credit for our work over here. What are you talking about? Wait, guys, we have more important things. Give them the credit. Mm. <laughs> Wonderful work you did in assisting us and us assisting you a, a, a real cooperative between our two religions. It shows that sometimes... You can cross party lines and work together for a better tomorrow. I grit my teeth. They seem taken aback by this and like, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, we, we did that. I mean, I'm glad you, you see it that way, man. Like, yeah, that's, uh, that's good. You know, everybody, uh, like, this, this is officially now, you know, Loth and Palo working together. Here's some pamphlets. You know, we're not all so evil. So, uh, and they just start, like, talking to people now. <sighs> I take a pamphlet and I crush it. <laughs> we'll deal with it later. Is there a black? Is there a blacksmith in town? Definitely. Very asleep right now. Oh, I need. I need to talk with you guys. Let's get out of outside of town. Um. So I I guide you guys to the edge of town. If you'll follow me. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it, Moss? I have his phylactery. Oh. 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 Okay. And I pull out the coin. All right. What do you want to do? I'm I'm honestly I'm honestly stumped on this one. Also, what is it by the way? It's it is a coin, just a, a regular it's coin. It's a standard silver currency coin. Okay. Yeah, we could like say like, oh, we'll pay you or something, like give it to someone and then get it traded away no, or something. But But I, I mean to I mean to say that Lord Dreadbone actually appears to not necessarily be evil, which doesn't make sense because he's a lich. But if we wanted, we could... I mean, he creates undead, which is undeniably evil. Of course, but... I don't know what to do. I think... I think what we've come across here is what we call down in the Underdark as a moral dilemma, which we don't have many of. We just kill people. Uh, (laughs) You say moral dilemma, it's just in Undercommon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think... Why don't we hold on to it? I don't think we should destroy it. But I think it's okay if we hold on to it if he calls us again. If we find out, if we start hearing rumors about some lich in this town causing hubbub and madness and, you know, killing people, then we'll destroy the phylactrophy. Mm. But it seems like this guy is not very good at his job. Uh, It seems like his evil intents seem to backfire along with that he has no real idea of what real evil is. So I don't think it's right to kill him. (sighs) Yeah, it really is a moral gray area. Everything he does to be evil seems essentially delightful. (laughs) (laughs) Like I said, I think he's bad at his job. Yes. So, Moss, I think... We should hold on to it, but don't destroy it. Mm. Just keep it in our back pocket. We could give it to one of the archbishops. You think that would uh, end out end up well? Because they don't know him. They would destroy it. I think this is something. Uh, I kind of like kneel down and like. This is our little secret at the moment. We have the ability to. And this evil, if it turns out to be evil. I suppose. But secrets have a way of coming back to haunt you. No. (laughs) No, this is true. But we will be able to handle it. Will we? We've gotten this far, Moss. I say say it's best in our hands. Anyone else, they'll just be a target on their back. You know, it's it's a risk with anyone else. Hmm. And then you hear a voice, uh kind of yell out to you guys and oh um hi uh sorry uh hello hi i turn turn back and you see uh, a priestess of palor actually and says oh um i was looking for you the um 
the local bishop wants to speak to you. Uh, he heard about what you did, uh, so I am uh, uh, here. You, please come back. Um. Yeah. All right. All right. Just, okay. Did you wanna? Did you want? Um. She kind of like reaches into the bag. I got hoblo- hobgoblin nuggies. I got uh. Beholder bites. Yeah. I got beholder bites. I got bay here, like Twinkie kind of looking things. Uh, frost wolf fingers. Yeah, frost wolf fingers. Uh, Loth laffy taffy. Loth laffy taffy. Um, oh, um, no, that's uh, fine. Thanks. It's uh, you know, rots your teeth and stuff. So um, I try to stay away from that. We got dental. It's fine. Yeah, we've got dental. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, because um. I didn't get dental. I, I guess I got... Whoops, let's get going. Oh, okay, I'll uh, take you back. Um, I'm uh, Bernice, by the way. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Bernice. I'm Kali. I'm Zebo. Fla- Sparkle. <laughs> and I am Hel Moss Hurson. We call him Moss. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> nice to meet you all. Let- but most important of all, this is Bagel. <gasps> And she pets she pets the dog. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's so cute. I feel like we should get him armor or something. I'm sure we can have the uh, you know the holy uh, armorers whip something up. Mm-hmm. Maybe some paladin armor. Yeah. Oh my God! Is this dog gonna take a paladin level? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, well, let's get going. Yeah, you guys walk through town, and now it's kind of settling in. People are home, they're content, they're happy, you've saved the day. And you arrive back at the church, where uh, the local bishop is expecting you, and says, well, local um, <clears throat> heroes have returned. Pale or bless. Now, that was quite an amazing feat. Um, you must tell me all about it, but more concerningly, um. There's rumors of you uh, cooperating with the uh, Church of Lolth. Uh. It was and an- now hear me out. <laughs> I am waiting to hear you out. Yes, most concerning rumors. Mm-hmm. Moss, did you want to take this one away, or am I gonna handle this? It was but a clever deception. A clever deception. Yes, I know that. Paylor does not smile on liars and thieves, but in this one scenario, it seemed to us that these people just getting their children back uh, to cause the chaos of an all-out fight between six elite clerics in the streets would be ill-advised. We did the best that we could with what we got. Well, I... Suppose it is not my place to judge. Palo will be doing that. Um, however, I am supposed to pass on this uh, fruit platter for you from the uh, Church of Lolth. Huh? Can you imagine the poor doorkeeper's reaction when uh, a dark knight on a nightmare rolled up to deliver a fruit platter? Mmm. Oh, I'll bet that there are all kinds of delicious fungi from... From your homeland. Uh-huh. They truly, they truly are evil. This night is supposed to be full of candy and they bring us fruit. You know, you know you have <laughs> those freaking neighbors. Detect poison and disease. <laughs> this is evil as it, at its core. Though you detect poison on this stuff and it is clean. No disease, no poison. This is fine. <laughs> oh yeah, the ten, the, the ten minute spell <laughs> with the U. <laughs> You do notice a most foul detail on this fruit platter. It is one day past its expiry date. The stretcher he won't stand! Ooh. Oh, son of a bitches. <laughs> I killed him! <laughs> All right, now, we will expunge the evil of Loth sooner or later. We will drive them out of town, but for now, why don't you all rest? It seems you've had a long and uh, successful day of assisting the local townsfolk. Might I add, we've had a lot of people sign up for our church, so um, I thank the three of you for that. There's a <laughs> there's a hidden implication in that that a lot of people also signed up for Lolf. Ah, oh, you caught on to that, did you? <laughs> Damn it. My character hasn't been talking much. I'm like, hmm, yeah, just silent, silently nodding, and I, I go over to the mirror like, ha! Open up the, and have the fangs there, like, ha! 
<laughs> yeah, the fangs look freaking sweet. It's going to be it's going to be a very awkward uh, thing at the church as I have to like my mouth's it, I'm always going to be like covering my mouth when I'm talking to them or kind of like oh yeah this good like talking very <laughs> less. <laughs> um, all right, well come on inside and rest up. We've prepared a bit of supper for you. And yeah, this wraps up the Halloween, or sorry, the Fiend's Eve of Molly Works. Hey. All right. Thank you. Hey. Thanks for running. Thanks, Felix, man. Really appreciate That's it. Rad. I'm glad you guys had fun. And happy Halloween to all our listeners. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. And thanks for, for listening. <laughs> Um, also, uh, I know Felix has written up this as a module. That's right. So you will be able to play this in your Halloween one-off or whatever you decide to do. Uh, it will be out when this is, comes out. So. Yep. Have fun cool. with awesome. it. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. So goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. And have have some have some lich licorice on me. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Woo.